Hello and what's up guys in this video I'm going to talk which phone you need to buy between the Samsung Galaxy M21 and Redmi Note 9 which is both neck to neck competitor in the present mobile market which is both recently launched by the both the company and today we are going to talk and without doing delay let's start the video. At first we are going to talk about its specification and let's check out its specification. In Samsung Galaxy M21 it comes with 6.4 inch Full HD plus Super AMOLED display. You can see here is the Super AMOLED display and in Note 9 you can see 6.53 inch Full HD plus IPS LCD display. You can see IPS LCD and Super AMOLED and as you know Super AMOLED is every time no any competitor comes with super amulet so display is better in samsung galaxy m21 and uh, it is protected by Corning Gorilla glass 3 m21 is protected by Corning Gorilla glass 3 and redmi note 9 is protected by Corning Gorilla glass 5 protection is the little bit up and down but not that used because Corning Gorilla glass 3 is also nice and you can see exonus 9611 which is 10 nanometer processor is used in samsung galaxy m21 and in redmi 9 you can see it is powered by mediatek helio g85 yeah there is a difference between the processor and you can see the n22 score of the mediatek g85 2,5946 but in the M21 you can see the 1,77,873 and there is the little bit downgrade and little bit up uh, Redmi by the processor. So in the processor the point goes to Redmi Note 9 Pro and it comes with the 4GB and 64GB at the this price range which is 22,999. Both the devices are priced as 22,999 which is 23,000 no any different but you can see m21 comes with 4gb and 64gb at this price range but redmi note 9 comes with 4gb and 128gb rom variant so you can see storage is higher in the redmi note 9 but the ram is same no difference but yeah storage is a little bit high in the redmi note 9 and let's talk about the camera in the m21 you can see the triple camera but in redmi note 9 you can see the quad camera setup at as at back but in samsung galaxy m21 you can see 48 megapixel uh, main primary lens with a 8 megapixel uh, wide angle lens with a 5 megapixel macro lens and another is uh, redmi note 9 you can see 48 megapixel primary lens 8 megapixel wide angle 2 megapixel depth sensing and 2 megapixel macro lens and the both the but the lens of the camera is the better in the samsung because samsung it is used samsung iso cell gm2 pro sensor has been used but in the redmi note 9 it is used samsung ios cell gm1 gm1 is used in redmi note 9 but gm2 is used in m21 so you can definitely see the by the specification samsung as you know there is how many of a uh, mere picture but if the sensor is nice then that camera is better you can know so in the camera aspects m21 wins but there is a extra one camera in the redmi note 9 that is the uh, depth sensing but that is not that huge different mix so at front you can see 20 megapixel in the m21 but in note 9 you can see 13 megapixel punch hole dis punch hole camera but in samsung you you have you can, you will get notch display a notch camera but the 20 megapixel and 30 megapixel and the, this is a samsung camera and this is the redmi camera you can see the difference in the camera aspects it goes to the point to m21 and at the battery 
M21 comes with 6000 mAh battery that is a huge battery which gives you two days of battery life in normal usage and heavy usage you will get one one day or one and a half day battery life and you can see in the redmi note 9 you you will get the 5020 uh, mAh battery 5000 on 5020 mAh battery which is also not bad it is also in top competitor 5000 is a what's the use but as compared to the m21 there is the less and you will get the charging of 15 watt in the m21 but in note 9 you will get 22.5 watt 17 7.5 watt yeah 12.5 watt difference in the charging speed so but the battery is bigger in the samsung m29 so you'll get the get extra battery life but in in note 9 you will get the extra power supply to your battery so that it will charge as faster than other fast charging phone but 15 watt is also enough you will get a, uh, around two and a half or three hour it will take to charge but redmi 9 will take two hour or one one five hour or time to charge the device and the price as you know both the comes with 22.9 on 22,999 and one thing i want to say uh, the processor of the same if you are confused in the processor you can check your relatives or your friends phone phone if they are using this phone because they also powered by same processor which i am going to list it here if uh, you want to check the processor of a redmi note 9 then you can check in redmi uh, 10x 4g phone which is also powered by uh, mediatek g85 uh, processor g85 is only used in two devices which is redmi note 9 and uh, redmi 10x 4g and if you want to check the samsung processor then you can check that it is used in more than one two three four five six seven device i'm going to list here one is m31 is powered by uh, Exynos 9611 processor and M21 X Cover Pro A51 M30S M A50S and Tab S6 Lite is powered by the same processor which is used in the M21. As you see the by the specs, as my recommendation is more value for package device is the M21 yeah i know the pressure is a little bit downgrade but overall value for money is i think m21 because it gives lots of good spec as well display battery and camera in all the it is the overall package so you will get the better value for money but there are the some downgrade in the redmi note 9 that is display quality ips display and amoled display you can't compare that that is if SMLD is gold then that is silver so how can you compare so that is like the things and as my recommendation is to buy the Samsung Galaxy M21 if you want and if you are fan of the uh, Redmi you can buy Redmi but as my recommendation you can buy the Samsung Galaxy M21 you will get overall package value for more new phone so you will get the longer life and longer in enjoyment in your phone and that's much about the in video if you like this com if you like this video then like comment and share this video and if you want to watch like this technical video in future then subscribe and click on bell icon to get a notification of like these new videos when i will upload in my channel so that you will not miss any of my videos and till the next video goodbye guys